Night four, we are starting the three restaurant rotation over again. So we're back in Royal Palace tonight. We are still in the middle of the North Atlantic heading to Iceland. We port in Reykjavik tomorrow morning. So we will definitely report a lot in Reykjavik. Um, we have an excursion booked outside of Disney Cruise Line. So hopefully that goes well. Today we haven't done much exciting. So we didn't record any of it. Like we kind of slept in and we realized that, oh my goodness, we have a beer tasting that we set up like months and months and months ago. Um, so we had that at 11 a.m. So we got ready real quick and we went to breakfast in Cabanas, which is actually really good. They have a good yeah. buffet breakfast up there. But we had like four minutes to eat <laughs> before. So we scooped it in. Yeah, before we had to be back down in 687 for, um, well, first it was the tasting and then we stayed for the trivia. That was fun. It was a brain teasers trivia and I think we did quite well. I think we did. Um, so it was, it, was, uh, it was interesting. Dinner tonight, um, the menu actually doesn't look as good as the first night. Um, but I'm hoping, because this has been the best quality food so far, so I'm hopefully... I think it looks fantastic. Okay, there you go. So I'm sure it looks great to some people. I, 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 there were, it was a harder choice the first night. There were more things that oh, seemed yeah. really, really good. Uh, but our appetizers have arrived, thank you. So I got the, uh, I got two appetizers. I got the Gravlox, which is the salmon, which I love salmon. And then I got the uh, artichoke and spinach dip, which looks fantastic. What'd you get over there? So I got the um, mozzarella and tomato salad. And then um, I also have cauliflower soup coming. So I'm kind of excited about that. It sounded delicious. And then I think for my meal, I got beef tenderloins with lobster as well as the uh, pearl barley risotto. I also got the beef tenderloin with uh, lobster. That actually did sound really, really good. So I am looking forward to that. I, and then I got a vegetable dish. It's the vegetable biryana. So I just wanted to try it. Like I'm trying to try a little bit more vegetables and hopefully it's good. Apparently there is a new show happening this evening. Mickey's Color Spin Dance Party. Know nothing about it. Um, we'll see. We are headed out there now. It's supposedly starting here in the next few minutes. Hey everyone, and welcome to Mickey's Color Spin Dance Party. If you want Disney music, let me hear you. Way better than Frozen Night on the Wonder. That was actually really good. Just seeing Max and Goof do the uh, the perfect cast. The perfect oh. cast to Eye to Eye was amazing. Oh, and I cried, and it was wonderful. Loved it. So good. <laughs> All right. Now we will see you tomorrow in Reykjavik. Yes. Welcome to Reykjavik. We just got off the ship. It is 9:25, and we are trying to find our private tour that we booked through Viator. So there are two ships at the Scarf Baki, I guess that's how you say it, uh, cruise port. We've got the Disney Dream here and the Norwegian Prima is right in front of us and we have no idea where we're going. So we're supposed to be on this tour in about five minutes. Hopefully we we'll find it in time. Have you found anything? No. <laughs> Okay, so the information that we got on our confirmation was kind of vague, and apparently this is a pretty big port, and so there was two. We, we were docked at 315, and Norwegian Prima, it was docked at 312, and 312 is apparently the main dock. So we came over here um, and found a van that we think is our tour, but there's no one in it right now, so we're just kind of waiting to confirm. <laughs> right, we have made it to the first stop. We did have the right bus. We are on the Golden Circle Tour, which is about a seven hour tour. Um, probably one of the more popular uh, 
uh, tours to take here. It stops at three different spots, at least ours does. First stop is the National Park in the uh, Southern Highlands. Oh, you can say it. Say it. Think Vatliff. Think. It means think means parliament and Vatliff means field. So it's parliament fields and it's where the Vikings used to come and meet to, you know, work things out. <laughs> to work things out and play with swords. <laughs> play with swords. <laughs> so we are, uh, it looks like, so they have restrooms here. There is some sort of gift shop and uh, we are headed up to the platform. There are three cruise ships in Reykjavik today. Um, so lots of people here. This is gorgeous though. Oh, beautiful. So beautiful. All right, so we are up on the platform at Think of Batliff, which is the um, um, Parliament Fields. And look at this, it's gorgeous. So we're also near the uh, two tectonic plates. So there's an area somewhere around here that um, you can actually be standing on two different continents at the same time. That was a pretty good little hike down that little uh, canyon and back. Um, they do have a gift shop here, so we're gonna check that out real quick. We gotta be back on the bus in 10 minutes. We have made it to stop number two on the Golden Circle Tour, which is the Geyser. Um, they have three restaurants here, so I think we're gonna eat first. We've got about an hour and 20, hour and 25 minutes to eat and see the Geyser and just walk around a little bit. Yep, I'm excited. <laughs> Oh, let's not get run over. All right, so we're at the Geyser place, um, and we decided to eat first before we go out to see the Geyser. And so I got, um, Dan and I are splitting some wild mushroom soup, which is delicious. And then I got a veggie burger and fries. Um, and then of course some Icelandic beer, which is really good. Um, and then Jenny's got a regular burger, and then Dan and Aiden both got fish and chips. They're good. And it's um, really crispy. I got a burger and some fries. Try the fish and chips here. It comes with slaw. Actually, pretty good. Not too shabby. Food actually was really good. Um, a little expensive, but still good. Went over to across the street for the geothermal area and hopefully check out the geyser before we have to get on the bus in about half hour. Alright, we made it to what? Stroker. Stroker. S T R K K U R. I guess the main geyser doesn't actually erupt anymore, maybe like once a year or something like that. And this one Or if erupts. there's a volcano eruption. Yeah. Or an earthquake. And this one erupts every like five minutes. Eight to ten. I read the sign. Sorry, I'm a wealth of knowledge. So this one, there's actually like some tinier ones along the way, along the walk as well. Um, and so we kind of saw them bubbling, but they don't get up very high. Um, when we go back down, we should show the, the photo because it told it tells like, compares this to Old Faithful and um, like other geysers. And so like it's height and everything. So we'll um, we'll try to show that here in just a minute. But, um, but yeah, so this is kind of the big one that, that is here that's currently erupting. Third and final stop on the Golden Circle Tour is the Goldfoss Waterfalls, or the Golden Waterfall. Um, I'm very excited about this one. This was uh, the stop that I've been most looking forward to. So we got 50 minutes to spend here. Yeah, and I don't know if you can see the, um, the glacier behind us, but it's very, very long. It's called that the ice Long cap. Glacier, and it is what feeds the water for the waterfall and the water all the way at, um, back at the, thing, uh, the first national park that we were at. So um, pretty impressive. Yeah, way off in the distance above these mountains right there. We made it. That is really cool. Really cool. Really cool. We're gonna go, there's three levels, so we're gonna go down another level and then we need to go all the way up close by it. So, I mean, we're getting wet back here. I can only imagine how it's gonna be down there, so I'm glad we brought our raincoats, right because uh, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. It is absolutely incredible. Just awe-inspiring. 
firing. I'm sure it's super loud, but I'm sure it is. That is that is amazing. Yeah. Look at that. This is like the little part of it. That's gonna do it for the Golden Circle tour. We are headed back to the bus. The three stops were spectacular, but Gulf Foss Waterfalls is unreal. Unreal. Very, very good tour. Highly recommend if you come to Reykjavik. It is amazing. Uh, what do you think? I just. I mean, look at this. It's so beautiful. That is crazy. Absolutely gorgeous with the rainbow, and it just like. And the weather is amazing. It's amazing. It's incredible. It's unreal. All right, so we got back from our tour. We got cleaned up, and we had considered going to the rainforest room, um, but decided against it. And I think we're just going to spend an hour or so. I think we're gonna try out the Meridian Lounge. We have not been to that one yet. And I think that'll take us to dinner. We have dinner in Animator's Palace tonight. I'm wearing my sketch shirt by Roosevelt's uh, in honor of Animator's Palette. Um, yeah, so, and then all of the characters I've mentioned before on the video, whenever we're in port, they dress in like their, that country's gear, which I assume then they would dress in that again on, what is today, Wednesday, so Friday, because we're in Iceland again. So I don't know if those outfits change, but I might leave Dan a couple of times and run to go see what their cute little outfits are so I can get pictures. <laughs> yeah, my knee is kind of killing me from so much walking the last, um, well, basically London. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then uh, a lot of walking today, so I may not run all over the ship, but uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, so we came into the Meridian Lounge tonight. That is the lounge that is um, kind of right between Palo and Remy. Um, it's really nice and elegant in here. Um, great bartenders. I got the uh, margarita, which is, Really quite tasty. Uh, it's good. It's got like a uh, lemon peppery uh, kind of yeah. rim, which was different, but I think I like it. <laughs> um, and then Dan got an old fashioned, which I think is probably the best old fashioned he's had on board. I've tried them all over the ship. This one is with <laughs> Buffalo Trace. Um, it is, I mean, it's still cubed ice. They, they just don't have the big ice cubes on board. But yeah. as far as quality goes, um, best one so far. Yeah. yeah. All right, we are back in Animator's Palette and they have a very different menu tonight. A lot of like regional specialties. So um, I'm not sure where these fit in, but I got the empanadas for an appetizer. They look fantastic. Um, they look fantastic. That was quite good. <laughs> okay. I don't even remember what I ordered, but it's got meat and goat cheese and tomatoes. So um, it was some sort of salad, right? Or well. Interesting. I, I like a dried meat. Yeah, I thought I was getting more of like a uh, almost bruschetta type thing. Um, but but there's no bread. There's no bread, so um, I'm just gonna pile it on. I mean, I'm still happy, so it's good. Well, the empanadas are gone. <laughs> so you ate them all already? Yeah. It's not terrible. It's got like. Maybe blue cheese, cottage cheese, not too sure. Goat cheese. Goat cheese. That's what that is. It's very goat cheesy. <laughs> entrees have arrived. My first entree was the shrimp curry, which was not that great, honestly. Um, it just didn't have the spice. And then this one is the vegetable turnover, which is a little better. It's a little dry though. Um, My second um, entree, other than the Indian shrimp, was the filet, and I don't like it. The salmon? The curry was pretty good. The rice like wasn't as fluffy as it is at home and stuff. Why do stuff that I say while doing reviews always make me happy? What's that? Uh, I've only got one of my two things that I ordered. The curry, I got that, and like that said, it's not spicy at all. It's like baby's first curry. It wasn't. It wasn't. It did. It, it tasted a little bland. The Sunday this evening is butter pecan with pecan pie bits. I'm very excited about this. We all got it, and I can't wait. Very, very good. Tastes like pecan pie. That's amazing. The tiramisu was weird. The tiramisu was weird. 
Sunday was great. Sunday was great. That's gonna be it for the night. We're gonna go back to the room. We're gonna finish watching Empire Strikes Back, and then we are gonna go to sleep. Yes. So we can get up in the morning and go to Cabana's for breakfast tomorrow. It's supposed to be Isa Fjorder. <laughs> Which got canceled, so it's an actual sea day. All that to be said, good night. We will see you tomorrow.